And this is something that's going to differ from the actual uh, AP1 and DC5 boxes because this is going to be the drive-by wire control. The internal ETC or electric throttle control is going to be what we need to set up and look at here in order to implement this and make everything control properly. So if we see it's checked here, we jump up into this window. This is going to be where we do the setup and configuration for the drive-by wire control. We're not going to be finding a, a, a window here in our ECU navigator. We're going to be doing all of it from this area right here. Now, the first thing we see is the ETC calibration. And this is going to be con these uh, calibrating or recalibrating the electronic throttle control. So the way this works, you're going to have your pedal in the vehicle, and that's going to be your accelerator, accelerator pedal position. That's going to essentially translate how much we want to go and try to open the throttle. And then there's going to be a disconnect. We're not going to have a throttle body cable like we found on a cable-driven throttle body, where if you push the pedal, it opens the, the throttle plate the exact amount. So if you went 100% throttle, it opens 100%. If you're 50% throttle, it would open the plate 50%. We're going to be finding that this is going to differ in this drive-by wire. We actually can go in and uh, change the way we open the uh, accelerator pedal position or how much input we want to give it to what it actually gives us at the engine. There's going to be a disconnect and we're going to be taking a look at that here in a second. But first we have to go and calibrate it. We have to calibrate the accelerator pedal position in the vehicle so that the hull tech understands what to do and it can go in and when we move our throttle with the accelerator pedal position sensor, it's going to sense that and then send the correct output towards the throttle plate to control it. 